Okay, let me guess. You're in the middle of a no buy or a low buy challenge and you're wondering, is it a bad idea if I start to get rid of more clothes and declutter some stuff? Well, today that is exactly what I'm talking about because I had the same dilemma over the last couple of weeks. I am in the middle of a no buy year. I'm four months in. So I've been thinking lately, should I declutter? Every so often I like to sit down and do a really nice declutter. I'll pull everything out of my wardrobe and I kind of put things back in and one by one I will decide is this something that aligns with my style? Is this something that I see myself wearing in the next week, month, you know, this year, maybe next season? Um, and I like to just ask myself those questions. Does it fit me? Do I feel comfortable in it? Do I like the color? Is it in good quality or good condition? Good questions to ask when you're doing a declutter. So recently I wanted to get rid of some stuff. One of my goals for my no buy is to have less stuff in my wardrobe. So obviously the answer to that is to get rid of some stuff. But during a no buy year, it can be kind of scary to get rid of more stuff because it might make you feel like you want to buy more and replace those items. Having less stuff and less options during a no buy isn't ideal. So yeah, let's just talk about whether I think it's a good idea or a bad idea. And we're gonna weigh up the pros and cons. Okay, so for those of you who are doing a no buy or a low buy month, like just 30 days or 31 days, I would say by all means, go for it. Do your declutter during your no buy, whenever your momentum for that comes up, whenever the motivation strikes you to declutter some stuff, just do it. And I don't think it's gonna, you know, hurt you too much to take away a couple of items. You, you only have probably by then a couple of weeks left to do it. So if you're on a short term, even maybe like a one month, two month, three month, your short term, I would say just go for it. The idea of decluttering anyway is that we're taking things we no longer wear or find value in out of our wardrobe. So these things are kind of, they're, they were never an option in the first place. If we got rid of something we wear all the time, then we're getting rid of an option of clothing and an outfit option or hopefully multiple outfit options out of our wardrobes. Like if I got rid of this brown jumper, I'd be losing a cardigan. Whereas if I get rid of something like a dress that I never really wear, I'm not really losing anything. I'm not reducing my amount of outfit options in my wardrobe because I wasn't wearing it in the first place. So if we're getting rid of items like that, by all means, just get rid of them. If you are on a slightly longer maybe like three, six, 12 month no buy, or even a low buy. I think with a low buy, you could probably get your decluttering in. You're still allowing yourself to replace things and buy things sporadically. So by all means, just go for it. When it's a no buy, um, I would recommend doing the declutter, but maybe not getting rid of everything that day or that week. So put some things aside in a box or a bag, put it in the attic, put it in a cupboard, under your bed, top of your wardrobe and set a timer in your phone for three months time to revisit this and if those things have not been missed in your wardrobe and they're kind of of the season and should be worn now then you can get rid of them because you're kind of giving yourself that breathing space whereas if in that three months you're kind of like oh I really need that jumper back because I don't have enough jumpers to wear or I really need that coat or those jeans that you know I thought I didn't like but I actually do or sometimes you don't realize how much you like something until you've gotten rid of it. You've given yourself that kind of buffer time that you can go back into that box, pull back out that item and start wearing it again. And you don't have to go and shop to replace it. You can just go back to your box and take it out. So what are the benefits of decluttering during a no buy? If one of your goals for your no buy was to have less stuff, then it makes sense that you would get rid of more items out of your wardrobe. You would declutter the things you no longer wear, that don't fit you, that aren't in good condition, that you just don't like or don't reach for anymore. And that's a benefit because your help it's helping you not just not buy anything throughout the year, but you're also reducing the number of items you have as you go. So from one end of your no buy to the next, you should have a significant enough drop in the amount of items you have, which is helping you get closer to that goal. Doing a declutter and get rid of those pieces that don't align with your style anymore are also helping you get closer to that ideal style and refining your style even more. So what's left in your wardrobe is gonna suit you and your style so much better. Getting rid of pieces that you no longer wear or love and things that just sit in your wardrobe year after year, 
it helps you to just kind of get rid of that stagnant energy in your wardrobe for pieces that just like hang there forever waiting to be worn and then day after day they're just not reached for you know it's not good energy to have in your wardrobe so get rid of those things and it'll just refresh the energy in your wardrobe a little bit more you want the things in your wardrobe to kind of be on a constant rotation that they're always coming out they're always getting worn styled different ways you know getting taken care of maybe they get washed and put back in and the cycle continues and that's how a wardrobe should be not something just hanging in your wardrobe lifeless forever feeling really unloved someone else might love it just pass it on to a new home and it'll have a whole new lease on life and finally a benefit of decluttering things from your wardrobe that you don't wear is you're getting rid of that guilt for those items that you're not wearing so there's nothing worse than seeing something really beautiful hanging in your wardrobe that you just are like I don't know why but I'm not wearing it and you feel bad maybe you go and try and wear it and you style it up and you're like oh it's just not right so you put it back you just have that guilt hanging over you every time you look at it if it's in like an occasion wear piece maybe just store it somewhere else so that you're not seeing it every day and feeling that guilt because maybe it's something that you will wear in the future it still fits you still love it it's just you don't really have that many special occasions to wear it that's fine store it somewhere else maybe fold it and put it in like a storage bag or hang it in a garment bag in another closet but if it's pieces that you really don't think you will wear again just get rid of it if it's something that doesn't fit you and it makes you feel bad that you it doesn't fit anymore whether it's too big too small just get rid of it it's not worth the guilt and the shame hanging over you your clothes shouldn't do that to you Okay, so some cons of decluttering during a no-buy, some like the negative side of it. You are going to end up with having less stuff, so you might end up having less options for what to wear. But like I said previously, if they are items that you haven't really worn anyway and you're not wearing, maybe this isn't such a big deal. And it's not going to have such an impact on your wardrobe. Decluttering during a no-buy is already like an extra challenge. And if you're already kind of challenged to the max with your no-buy, and you're already just trying to like you know, keep a flow with your no buy and be like, right, I'm just gonna try my best, stick to not shopping, etc. Maybe you don't wanna challenge yourself any more or push yourself any further because like too much pressure will just make you crack. So if you're really focused on not shopping and that is your main goal, then don't worry about decluttering, just leave that aside or you could try the whole kind of stored away for three to six months thing instead. Another little kind of niggly thing that might come up is feeling like you deserve to replace the item you just decluttered. I know I'm definitely guilty of this and I'm sure many of you are as well, but when we get rid of something that we don't wear anymore, we kind of think, oh, well, there's like a gap in my wardrobe. Maybe I could, maybe I could just fill it with this other thing. Like actually it's a replacement, not, you know, a new purchase. Whereas for my no buy, I have allowed for replacement, but under very strict circumstances. But this could be one of those times where I use that kind of and try and get around something like oh well I got rid of this old jumper I wasn't wearing so now I can buy a new jumper no 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 that's not that's not part of a no buy so if you feel like that's going to happen just keep the old item for now until your no buy is done so all in all is it a bad idea to declutter during a no buy I think it just depends on your own circumstances how hard you're finding your no buy if you're struggling don't declutter if you're kind of somewhere in the middle maybe declutter but put it away for a little while and store it away and don't get rid of it like in that moment and if you're doing really well you're no buy and you want to challenge yourself further then go for it do a declutter it might actually just spur you on to refine your style and reduce what you have even more which is amazing because if that is your ultimate goal is to have less and just have a really curated wardrobe then go and do that declutter i've pulled out a few pieces from my wardrobe that i really don't think i'm gonna miss and I'm either going to sell them on Vinted or I'm going to bring them to the kind of recycling bank down the street, like a charity recycling, clothing recycling bank. And, you know, I'm not going to go overboard at my decluttering, but it does help me. It gives me a little bit of a boost and it helps me to think that my wardrobe is getting closer and closer to my perfect ideal style every time I get rid of something I don't love. So if you are just starting out on your no buy or low buy journey, then you can check out these videos on the screen for how to have a really successful no buy, how to set yourself up for success. And if you're looking to reset your style for 2024 as well, which I'm guessing if you're doing a no buy, that can go hand in hand. You can kind of stop shopping and sit and really reflect on what's in your wardrobe check out my style reset video as well that I popped up recently. If you haven't subscribed already, I would really appreciate if you do so, so more of these no buy videos can reach the masses and we can all start to create better shopping habits, 
shop more mindfully, dress ourselves more mindfully, and just overall feel better in our clothing. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll talk to you all really soon.